Have you ever wanted to snap your legs to just get a little bit taller? Then this is the video for you. Hi, sisters. Today, we're going to be talking about a fella named Denzel Sigers who wanted to be six feet tall so bad that he broke his legs and spent $100,000 on a transformation that, you know, will not last long. I was a short king and now I'm a part of the six foot club. And I spent $100,000 on limb lengthening surgery. They Holy shit. I forgot about limb lengthening surgery, that that was even a thing or a possibility that anybody would even ponder. The fact that height in men is such a problem that all these people are like, yeah, I only date six foot and above. He goes, I am five, five. And now I need to get to six feet. So I'm going to break my legs and spend my life savings on shit. You break your bones. Wow, dude, what the fuck? I've had like 15 surgeries, eight or nine of them being knee surgeries. And of course, none of those were like me being, you know, quirky and fun. Hey, uh, I wonder if I can uh, get this surgery just for fun. Can I pay out of pocket? No, the fuck? The fact that this guy's signing up to have his joints be fucked for life is sort of what you get. Also subscribe to my new channel, Jake Doolittle. I'm officially monetized after my 100 videos in 100 days is up. That will be the last place that you can find content like this. Please subscribe before time runs out. Surgically, they cut them and they attach devices that extend the bones over time. The world is a much different place now that I'm taller. When I first did the surgery and people said they hope I never walk again. Okay, well, that's too far. Of course, that's too far. And of course, you're going to use the most extreme comments, but like, I don't have respect for you. That's such a waste of money. You're telling me that your life has actually changed? Not at all. You're able to maybe reach a, a, a cereal bowl in the back of your cabinet faster. As it grew, it actually started. Mr. Broke Bones is his username. I thought we were on the first day. You're impressing me. No, I'm not. You're impressing me. I'm six foot. <laughs> Ever since this guy's six feet tall, he's like, no, yeah, I'm, I, it's so nice to meet you. I'm six foot. No, it's nice to have a conversation. I'm, I'm six foot. Ah, oh, this food smells really bad. All of them six foot. Just finds a way to include it into regular everyday conversation. I'm Denzel Siggers. I'm 27 years old and I spent $100,000 on one. Denzel, why? So the surgery day, they put me under anesthesia so I was asleep. They break your bones surgically. They cut them and they attach devices that extend the bones over time. When I first woke up, I just asked myself a million and one questions. I was like, why did I do this? That's a great question. Um, I'm curious to know how long the recovery period was. I know that for my surgeries, it was like three months per. I was in a wheelchair. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> Imagine this. If this guy got like a handicap placard or went to handicap seating at a concert, you are a fucking asshole. Are you kidding? He absolutely has a handicap placard. How many people do you think were actually handicapped and didn't do this to themselves and couldn't park in a handicap parking spot because of this fella? Surgery. I regret it. I shouldn't have done it. I'm in so much pain. I've oh my God. I've kind of pain before. And is it really worth it? No. And I thought something was wrong because I didn't think it was normal to feel this amount of pain. Dude. There's a metal rod in my leg, and then there was an external fixator that attaches to the metal rod. Where do you have to go to get this goddamn surgery done? It doesn't say it in the description, but like, can we never ever do this? Can this be outlawed, please? God damn, this is like a McCamey Manor type thing where it's like, we're going to, um, you know, break your legs and then see how long it takes for them to grow and reconnect. <laughs> going through your leg so you have both an internal device and an external device solid it was very shocking it felt unreal to see it attach myself because i had never seen anything like this before i was actually in a relationship prior to the surgery once i told her i wanted to go get surgery to get taller to boost my confidence she was completely against it. Yeah, I think any normal person would. It also makes me really sad that that's the only way that you feel that you can boost your confidence. I don't know. Get some lifts in your shoes or uh, fucking put on three pairs of socks. There's other ways to gain a few inches. And inevitably, we end up ending a relationship, even though she was someone that made a lot of jokes about my height herself. So she hasn't seen me, but she's just seen like my social media and she's been trying to call. She's been trying to make her. Yeah, she's probably checking in on you like, what the fuck? Are you OK, dude? Dude, this is a fucking insane thing to do, especially like at such a young age. This guy's 27 having a midlife crisis. Back, but that's somewhere I don't want to go back to. Ooh. Today, I'm actually going on a date for the first time since I've had my surgery. Man, what? Dude, you're giving yourself like a lifelong limp to be six feet? Like, I'm sorry. I get that the height jokes are probably really painful, but you know what's more painful? Oh, I don't know. Broken fucking tibia. First date at six foot. 
I'm very excited. This is an opportunity to get out there and really Jesus. fill out this new version of me, like see how he interacts with the world, see how he interacts on a date. This in the world first we live time in, out? we say don't Sitting judge a book swing? by its cover, but obviously people are judged off their appearance first. But I do feel like once I get back into dating, my personality will be what carries me in a relationship. Okay. Okay, I know that this sounds really mean, but he did sign up for this. Imagine if he stood up and his legs just fucking crumbled. His devices go out of whack. He starts like walking and like rolling and doing the worm. Hello, how you doing? How you doing? They hug me too. Tell me about yourself. What's your social? My social? Yeah. My my social media? No, your social security. My social security. <laughs> what? You a scammer? I didn't say that. Are you just funny? I was just funny? trying to get to know you. Oh. So. No, he's really good with the ladies. I'll tell you that right now. As a pickup line, hey, what's your social? Oh, my social media? No, your social security. What you trying to do with my social? Oh, you trying to put a ring on it that fast? What? I didn't know you was that type of guy. Okay, I don't think that anybody at this table understands what's going on. Like, what? <laughs> None of this makes any sense. And then he sips his drink. I, I like that. I How much money my does this have? relationship was two years ago. I got high standards and a lot of requirements. I think you found it. Really? Okay, why well, haven't I been on a dating scene? I've been very busy. I'm but sure. most recently in the last six months, as you know, I went underwent limb lengthening surgery. Mm -hmm. So. What was that experience like? Probably one of the hardest things I've ever done that you didn't have to do. Like think about the people who, I don't know, have a limb amputated or multiple limbs amputated. Uh, they look at this guy and probably scoff in his face because one, he's taking their parking spots and two, you signed up for this, man. It, it's sad. It's like when people get plastic surgery to feel more confident and then six months later, they don't feel more confident. Conversation was very good. I could see like us going on a few more dates, getting to know each other a lot more. He's gonna call me for sure. It's actually a very fun first date. I didn't expect to have as much fun as I did. I thought it would be a little bit more nerves or something, but two straws. Thing went great. It was very fun time. Very beautiful. Is that a girl. Tostitos? Nice to step out in the world with a lot more confidence than before to be a lot more sure of yourself and not wonder what you man i mean wouldn't it be nice to be able to step into a hug and not feel pain there's so many like little things that i feel he didn't think about the doctor who was doing this whatever fucking quack doctor did this was like all right i'll take a hundred thousand dollars cash right now and uh do not think about any of the repercussions just go for it <laughs> when i had my knee surgeries one of my million knee surgeries i remember before every surgery surgery every night before surgery Hannah and I would do everything that I couldn't do those next three months after surgery so like we would slow dance in the living room or we would go on a walk or even just like stand up and hug those small things are so fucking important and this guy shut down a lot of them and also limb lengthening surgery will absolutely have complications and so he's giving himself a lifelong irreversible reversible disability that's fucking crazy she's thinking but really just be who you are be who you are it is much easier to reach things that i i struggle with. i made a joke about that at the beginning of the fucking video and i didn't think that he would actually say that it's much easier to reach things in my kitchen ever heard of a goddamn step stool with before the world is a much different place now that i'm taller much shorter uh, people than smiling me everywhere i go i've never had this kind of like reaction from people before and i really enjoy it what i've always been very unhappy with my height pretty much my entire life. I realized I was short around 15 years old. And ever since then, it's kind of weighed on me. I tried uh, like a lot of different things to make me taller height. or at least appear taller, such as spinal decompression, put insoles in my shoes, inversion tables, and they would only give me about an inch more. So uh, that wasn't good enough for me. So I, you know, uh, broke my fucking legs so I could gain a, a good seven inches. As far as my recovery process, I work out every day. I'm just restricted in some of my abilities like squatting. Recovery takes about six months to a year. I'm much further ahead at my current stage Jeez. than most people. Would be. Man. It's only been about two and a half months since I completed surgery. I can not pretty much do everything that I need to do for the most part on a normal day-to-day -day basis. So I'm very pleased with where I'm at. 
The surgery has significantly boosted my self-esteem, mainly because everything I had to go through to get the height, so I appreciate it more. But just being home and seeing how the world reacts to me at six foot rather than five five. I am curious to know what place he went to. Live life long tall. What do you think that last thing is? Live life. Oh, there was a t-shirt. Live life taller. Okay. Live life taller. Whoa. What the fuck? Oh my God. It is a Turkish. Ew. You are all so fucking stupid. No shot. Oh my God. They have a huge building. Oh, come on now. Measure my height. Let's see what I can be before and after. Okay. So I am 182. Oop, okay. So I am six foot zero. All right. And uh, let's see. So that's my before and then my after is still six foot zero. Oh, so I just have to guess six foot six female live life taller. That's a good fucking website. We'll keep watching. It has been like a very amazing experience for me. I've always been like an outgoing person, but now I can just be myself. He seems like a cool guy, but this is so dangerous. I'm me all the time now rather than hiding behind like insecurities. My hey. boy. What's up, man? Get good to see uh, What? Oh, it's good to see you, man. How did you meet Brian? We was getting the same surgery in Turkey together. We met in the physiotherapy. Brian, how tall were you before the surgery? Uh, I was 183, so just basically uh, six foot. And how tall are you now? It's going to be over six, six, six right now. Jesus Christ. Do you think that if you zoom out, these guys' legs are like half their fucking body length? They just have the shortest torsos. Also, I do love when uh, YouTube chapters are spelled incorrectly. It's just a fun little thing I like. Meet brain, a fellow limb lengthener. <laughs> brain. Nice. One thing that's kind of hard for me <sighs> is I'm just barely now getting into the phase where I'm in a walker. You're already at the walking in the system phase. For me, I will honestly have to tell you that it's really just being patient, but at the same time, trusting yourself because since you haven't walked in so long, it gets, you're nervous to walk. When I know, but buddy, you guys did this to yourself. And so it's actually super telling because one guy had a super successful surgery. You know, let's check in when he's older and see how that goes. But now we have this guy who is just barely moving in a walker because of complications and they did the surgery at the same time. So I think that's proof that this shit is fucked. Whenever I'm scared, I just tell myself, just trust myself. Everything is going to be okay. My father had the worst reaction. He just didn't understand why I would do something like this to myself. He's actually been avoiding me since I've returned home because he thinks I'm taller than him now. But my mother has what? been extremely supportive. My brothers have been very supportive. They're very excited that I got surgery and it's something that's changed my life overall. Jesus. So initially when I first did the surgery and I started posting it, it was a lot of like negativity, a lot of hate. People called me crazy. People called me insane. They said they hope I never walk again. But as it grew and people saw me continue to post my progress, a lot of the comments began to change. It actually started to garner a lot of I attention. I just think it's sad. And telling me like how strong I am and how manly it was to go through something that like how endures so much pain. Was. I want people to take away from this is not even just hype, but I say do the things that make you happy. Don't care what other people think because people will judge you no matter what you do. And that's true, but I have a problem with this. There are a bunch of logistical problems and the funding. There is just no way that this is good for you in the long run. I got diagnosed with arthritis throughout my body at 12 or 13 years old. They were telling me that my bones are going to deteriorate earlier than others and my body is going to hurt more and more as I get older. Any small thing can happen to these guys and they will no longer walk again. And I don't know if that has crossed their minds uh, for the six months or a year of healthy walking that you get with these fucking Frankenstein legs. God damn, dude. And maybe it's just because I've had my experiences, but I don't think that there's going to be anybody in my comment section who is disabled or on crutches or cannot walk who looks at this guy and is like, I get it. That makes sense. Do your thing. Sorry. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you to all my members for supporting me. If you want to become a member, then click the link in the description below. Also check out my clothing brand and separately my non profit for people with chronic illness never stop 10% of all the profits from never stop clothing go into the fund I donate monthly you can donate directly into the fund please check it out it's all tax deductible thank you so much for your support I will talk to you later bye